Mary Ryan Gallery uh, on West 26th Street, uh, where Mary is holding an exhibition of my latest work, Apothecary uh, Storehouse. I like the way languages influence meanings. There are two bottles here um, that actually have the same label, furtive glances. Uh, in French, furtive glances seems to refer to cafe society, uh, looking to see who is sitting with whom, who is wearing what. Uh, the bottle above it is also furtive glances, but in Serbo-Croatian. Uh, furtive glances in Serbo-Croatian in a country that's been torn by terrible communal politics, furtive glances could have deep and dangerous political significance. When I started this project, I learned that the word apothecary meant storehouse, uh, from the Greek apotheke. And uh, I thought, just as an old pharmacist would store their raw materials for making prescriptions in these bottles, each of us has a personal storehouse. And so I changed the labels to shameful thoughts, happy memories, things we carry with us. I had the bottle for months before I decided I wanted to do uh, a drawing with the label A Sky Blue Life in Russian uh, because it's the name of a story by Gorky about someone who wishes to be an individual in just one way. He lives on a street in a small town in central Russia where all the houses are gray, but he wants to paint his sky blue and his neighbors persecute him and drive him mad. Um, a typically happy Russian story. Um, one of the, uh, one bottle I long to do is my favorite phrase from all of Mozart, which I think is something each of us has with us. It's from Don Giovanni, uh, where uh, Don Giovanni is trying to seduce Serlina and says, come take my hand, come away to my castle. And she says, vore e non vore. I'd like to, but I don't want to. Uh, and I couldn't get that onto one label. I couldn't make it into a label. And I was telling a student of mine, he's a wonderful student, he's now a Rhodes Scholar at, uh, at Oxford, and he knows opera and he knows Italian. And he said, Professor Shore, salt and pepper, just make two bottles, vore e non vore. Once on eBay, I found three bottles that had these metal rims. Two of them were identical um, in size. They had painted labels in German um, on the shoulder of the bottle. One was clear and one was uh, reddish brown. I thought I wanted to do a pair. Uh, one of the labels I had on my list was spilled milk, but I hesitated with spilled milk because it was already something liquid. And then I saw a production of uh, Wagner's Valkyra, and Wotan, king of the gods, has gone around the world for centuries uh, impregnating uh, women, uh, spilling his wild oats, and suddenly spilled milk and wild oats fit together, and they became this pair. After I pose the bottle and light it, I block it in uh, lightly in pencil, and then when I have its silhouette, I underpaint it in white. Um, you, that allows the color, because I paint over it in gouache, it allows the light from the white paint to come through in the bottle to sit in the, the, the space of the colored paper, but also to pull the light the way colored glass pulls light. Then after the painting is all done, I go in in silver point. I add a bit of bone meal to the white paint with which I underpaint to increase the calcium content of the white. Because in silver point, you draw with pure silver wire. And then as the silver wire passes over the calcium rich ground, it oxidizes the ground. So rather than um, 
pencil where you're actually laying pigment down on the surface, uh, silver point changes, chemically changes the nature of the ground and it sits in the drawing far more than a technique like pencil or pastel which puts pigment on top of the ground.